This is Max Williams with United Real Estate, and today I'm in South Chesterfield. More specifically, I am in Matoica. Today we're going to take a look at a four-bedroom, two-bath home. Uh, this home's coming in at about 2,800 square feet, located here in a, an older community. We do have a school playground that is right there in the middle of the frame. Today is the first day back for many children here in the Central Virginia area. Uh, I don't have children, but I remember back when I was a young man uh, trying to master algebra. My mom, who was a kindergarten teacher, was trying to remember some of those techniques. Uh, she hadn't done algebra for 20 plus years and then trying to explain it to a stressed out uh, seventh grader, sixth grader, whatever I was at the time. I was probably more like eighth or ninth grade. Uh, was was definitely stressful. So as a little tip for parents uh, in order to maybe save your sanity and a little additional stress, Khan Academy. That's Khan is in Shaka, not maximum security. K-A-H-N Academy may be a really, really good resource for you. You can bone up on some of these techniques and then when Junior asks you for help, you'll look like a real champ and won't have to deal with the stress and aggravation of not remembering how you did these things 20 plus years ago. Okay, this is a rehab property. As I said, we've got major work that's needed. It is priced accordingly. It's a lot of square footage for South Chesterfield, and there is financing available to purchase and to renovate all together in the same FHA loan. So you can pretty much do what you want to do as far as renovating this property. Uh, I do see that our exterior is not in bad shape at all. We've got low maintenance vinyl. The roof appeared to be a newer roof. I did see some areas upstairs uh, that led me to believe at some point there may have been some water damage, but nothing that's too extensive. Okay, we're going to go down the hallway here to our left is going to be our laundry room. We've got a really good sized laundry room as you guys are aware. Sometimes they don't turn on electricity. A little too cheap sometimes. And um, so we're going to use a little natural light there to give you a peek here behind this door is our electric water heater. And there's good space in here for uh, laundry, storage, uh, so you can use that accordingly. This is going to be a second common space here on the first floor. This would make a nice, uh, perhaps, uh, informal space or a cave. Uh, this is going to be our three-quarter bath that's down here on the first floor. So if you needed to have a downstairs bedroom, there is that potential to do so. A little small shower there. Uh, and we're going to spin through. This is going to be our family room. Uh, we've got a wood stove there at the end. And this is a nice, long, rectangular space here with a lot of window light. Okay, we had a home inspection this morning. And uh, we actually just saw this room. I'm just going to go back through. Uh, so we're going to take the hallway upstairs. Uh, the inspection was uh, a great, great experience with my first time buyer because the inspector was a new inspector. And uh, we chatted and chatted and chatted and I realized after that inspection, the home inspection, of course, is necessary to ascertain the condition of the property, but the education that he gave us both was tremendous. And we talked about everything from what rehabbers do uh, to cut corners to save money on rehabs to even things that are unique about our specific market. I'll give you an example. They do what we call cost to cure on the inspections here locally in Central Virginia. He was telling me that we're one of only two areas in the whole United States that do that. So an inspector, for example, if they find a deficiency with a cross space, they are required to give an approximate dollar amount to cure that issue. Uh, and that's unique. Most places in the country, that's not a requirement. And some inspectors don't even like to do it uh, because it's pretty unusual. So I just share that with you, that all real estate is local. Even the forms that we use are different here than they are in Northern Virginia, Hampton Roads area. Every association, every area has their own way of doing things, their own policies, procedures, their own paperwork. So even though we're all in the same state, it still can be very, very different from area to area. So if you're buying real estate or selling real estate and you're familiar 
with the customs and practices other places, don't be surprised if someone says, oh no, that's not how we do it here, because that in fact could be true. I just went through the bathroom. That bathroom services this room that I'm in now, which is the master. Now, if I were doing this rehab, what I would do is I would reconfigure. This is the hallway that we just came down, and this was the bathroom that we just left. I would go ahead and to the left here, I'd probably make another opening, another doorway, uh, because we have this room that's right back here. Okay, this is a separate room from the master, but yet I'm trying to figure out kind of what you could use it for. So I would probably want to go ahead and put a separate master bath here, nice big walk-in closet and utilize this space a little bit more effectively. Because remember, by appraisal standards, you cannot go through one bedroom to get to another. So this would not be considered a bedroom where we are right now. Also, of course, there's no closet here. So I would just come reconfigure this space and it shouldn't be too hard to add an additional be uh, bathroom. This, of course, is a result of water damage. Uh, I imagine that that may have happened before they replaced the roof. Uh, but once again, that's where a home inspection comes in to see exactly what's going on with this situation. All right, this was a rehab property. Remember, yes, it's rough, but yes, the price reflects the current condition. And so what a smart buyer does is they will buy like this if they're willing and able to go through with a rehab project. And then when they're done, if they do it right, they're going to have some instant equity. That's going to be money that's going to improve, of course, their net worth. Max Williams, 804-402-7788. I can reach on Facebook under Richmond Area Foreclosures on YouTube under my name, Max Williams Realtor. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Thanks so, so much for having this tour with me today. Have a great day.